Overseas Lenin, a political philosopher and revolutionary leader from Russia, was instrumental in changing the course of history. As the head of the Bolshevik Party, he led the October Revolution in 1917, which resulted in the creation of the Soviet Union, the first socialist state in history. Lenin was one of the most significant figures of the 20th century, having a significant influence on world politics and inspiring people thanks to his unwavering loyalty to Marxism and his intellectual generosity. Global Revolutionary Movements On April 22, 1870, Vladimir Lenin was born into a middle-class family. His early years were characterized by a strong sense of social justice and a voracious appetite for knowledge in the small eastern Russian city of Simbursk. His father, Ilya Yulinov, was a well-known preceptor and an advocate for liberal changes. Tragically, Lenin's life changed forever when his elder family member, Alexander Julia Nov, was put to death for plotting to assassinate Tsar Alexander III. This incident had a profound impact on Lenin and laid the root for his commitment to revolutionary ideals. Lenin's education played a vital part in shaping his revolutionary beliefs. He attended Kazan University, where he originally pursued a degree in law. Still, the university's vibrant intellectual climate and the exposure to radical ideas led him to join colorful pupil groups championing for social change. During this period, he considerably read the workshop of Karl Marx and Friedrich Engels, profoundly impacting his thinking and propelling him towards Marxism. Following his studies, Lenin became decreasingly involved in revolutionary conditioning and the underground Marxist movement. His activism attracted the attention of the autocratic authorities, resulting in multiple apprehensions and ages of exile. In 1895, he was forced to leave Russia and began living in colorful European metropolises, where he continued to develop his revolutionary testament and engaged with prominent Marxists such as Georgi Plekhanov, Pavel Axelrod, and Julius Martov. The vital moment in Lenin's revolutionary career came with the confirmation of the Russian Social Democratic Labour Party, or RSDLP, in 1903. During the party's alternate congress, a split passed between the revolutionaries led by Lenin and the Mensheviks. The divide centered on issues of party association and testament, with Lenin championing for a more tightly chastened and consolidated revolutionary party. As the world was engulfed in the deers of World War I in 1914, Russia faced severe social and profitable rigors, aggravated by the strains of the war trouble. Lenin in exile honored the seasonable moment for a socialist revolution in Russia. He believed that the war had created the conditions for the riffraff to seize power from the weakened Tsarist governance. In April 1917, following the adoption of Tsar Nicholas II, Lenin returned to Russia with the help of the German government which hoped that his presence would destabilize Russia's war sweats. His appearance marked a turning point in the Russian Revolution. Under his leadership, the revolutionaries, along with their abettors, the left socialist revolutionaries, led the defeat of the provisional government in October 1970. As the head of the new Soviet government, Lenin set about enforcing a series of radical programs. He nationalized diligence and land, redistributed wealth, and initiated broad social reforms to empower the working class and peasantry. His government also made strides in promoting gender equivalency, education, and workers' rights. In 1918, Lenin's government inked the Treaty of Brest-Litovsk, ending Russia's involvement in World War I, but at the cost of significant territorial losses. One of Lenin's most significant accomplishments was the establishment of a political system grounded on workers' councils, known as Soviets. He envisaged a vanguard party of professional revolutionaries that would guide the working class towards illiberalism and ultimately communism. Lenin's leadership faced multitudinous challenges both from within and outside of Russia. The Russian Civil War erupted shortly after the revolution, pitting the Red Army, the Bolshevik forces, against the White Army alliance of anti-Bolshevik forces. The Red Army, led by Leon Trotsky, ultimately surfaced victorious, securing the Bolsheviks' rule and icing the survival of the incipient Soviet state. On August 30, 1918, Fania Kaplan, a member of the Socialist Revolutionary Party, made the first attempt on Lenin's life during a meeting at the Hammer and Sickle plant in Moscow. Kaplan approached Lenin and fired three shots. 
Lenin was shot twice at close range, taking serious injuries to his neck and shoulder. Despite this, he managed to survive the attack, though it had a lasting effect on his health and caused his physical condition to deteriorate in the years that followed. On August 30th, 1921, precisely three years after the first attempt, a group of anarchists attempted to kill Lenin and other prominent Soviet leaders. A bomb was detonated at a public event commemorating the fourth anniversary of an attempt on Lenin's life. The explosion happened close to the structure where Lenin and other leaders were gathered, injuring and killing many in the crowd. Despite surviving both assassination attempts, Lenin was unscathed in this attempt. Lenin's health deteriorated further between 1922 and 1924 when he passed away. Several strokes left him partially paralyzed and incapable, and his deteriorating health aroused concerns about the Soviet Union's future and its leadership. At the age of 53, Vladimir Lenin departed from this life on January 21, 1924. His death was officially attributed to an incurable vascular condition. His body was preserved and put on permanent display in Red Square in Moscow, where it continues to stand as a testament to Soviet history. Lenin's death paved the way for a struggle for dominance within the Communist Party that ultimately resulted in Joseph Stalin's ascendancy and a major change in Soviet policy. Vladimir Lenin's influence on the 20th century remained significant and controversial. His ideas, collectively known as Leninism, became an essential part of Marxist theory, offering an alternative path to socialism based on the vanguard party and the establishment of a centralized state. The legacy of Lenin, however, is a hotly debated historical topic. His admirers saw him as a visionary leader who battled for social justice and the working class's freedom from exploitation. They also gave him credit for creating international solidarity among socialist movements and establishing the foundation for a new social order. However, detractors contend that Lenin's dictatorship demonstrated authoritarian tendencies that resulted in the repression of political opponents, censorship, and the creation of a one-party system as well as the concentration of power in the hands of the Communist Party and the creation of a covert police agency with oppressive powers. Vladimir Lenin was a revolutionary in modern history. His leadership during the Russian Revolution permanently changed the political landscape and inspired revolutionary movements worldwide. Despite differing opinions, there are points of contention when evaluating his legacy. He continues to be a key figure in understanding the complexities of revolutionary change and the difficulties of building a successful socialist society as history unfolds. We appreciate your participation and ask that you subscribe for more engrossing biographies of foreign leaders. Legacy will continue to be a topic of critical inquiry, influencing how nations wrestle with the quest for social justice, equality, and human growth.